Good afternoon and welcome to another of Tim's Tech Talk videos here at Venom Motorsports Canada. Today we're having a look at the EVAP system on our X22 and I want to show you the canister, the EVAP system and explain to you how it functions and some of the difficulties that can be generated by problems with the EVAP system. So when you look at the EVAP system it consists of this canister and when you're looking at the canister you'll see that it has one line going to your gas tank, one line marked purge, and another marked PVC. So PVC stands for positive crankcase ventilation and on this particular bike that PVC line is not utilized. On some other makes obviously it is. So where do these lines go? This first line again goes up to your gas tank and vents gaseous vapors from the gas tank into this activated charcoal carbon filled canister, this black canister that you see here. So gaseous vapors from the gas tank are going in through this line. This line called the purge line is actually a takeoff from the carburetor. So there's a vacuum line, and I'll show you that in a minute, that connects to the carburetor that is producing a low pressure or suction, right? through this line to purge the gaseous vapors out of the canister. The vent line that you see here for PVC, which is not utilized on this bike, also goes to the same vacuum line. So this line's under vacuum, this line's under vacuum, and it's getting the vacuum from the carburetor. Now, why do we have this? In the old days, a typical gas tank on top of an X-22 would have been fitted with a vented gas cap. So on a hot sunny day, the gaseous vapors would have been allowed to vent from the gas tank as the pressure increased inside the gas tank. Now obviously these days we don't want that to happen, so we developed an EVAP system. The EVAP system then takes the gaseous vapors that normally would have been vented to atmosphere, they flow into the activated charcoal canister and are then drawn off into the carburetor and of course reused for combustion. So these are all positive things. When does it become tricky? Well this device is fitted with a check valve right at its base and the purpose of the check valve is to allow atmospheric pressure to act on the EVAP system to prevent the gas tank from experiencing too low a negative pressure. If the pressure in the gas tank is too low this of course will obstruct your fuel flow and you'll have funny things like stalling in the middle of nowhere, you're downshifting from third gear going through a turn, and all of a sudden the bike will stall. And the reason for this is because this check valve is having some difficulty. So how do you cure that problem? Well, you can attach another hose here and just blow into the hose to positively pressurize this to make sure that air will flow into the device. No air or combustion gas should ever flow back out, but you want to make sure that you can blow in and generate flow in this direction. If you're finding that the device is stuck, a little spray inside here of some WD-40 will work miracles. So as long as this device is working properly, the only other difficulty you can have in this whole system is to have one of these lines pinched off. And sometimes that happens because when we're assembling bikes, people get a little overzealous with zip ties and they simply strangle the line. You know, they'll be applying a plastic zip line and they'll put it just too tight and this will kink or bend the line in an inappropriate manner. So you want to make sure that you check your system, check all the lines, make sure that nothing is kinked, just run your hand over through the line. And if your lines look like this and you put a little bit of WD-40 in here, you should be 100%. Now, you're going to become aware of this problem, perhaps, uh, you know, somewhere as you're driving down the road, you come to a stop sign, the bike stalls, and it just won't start. Don't panic. All you have to do is open the gas tank, crack it open, allow atmospheric pressure to rush in, neutralize this vacuum effect, and you'll now have good flow of fuel back into the carburetor, and your bike indeed will start. Now the only other thing I want to show you with this EVAP system is where it interconnects over here to the carburetor. So this line right here is a vacuum line that feeds back into the canister on the other side. Your gas line is right down here connected to your fuel filter 
This line is for the evap system. So I hope that was hopeful and helpful to you. Don't get frustrated with it. Just take some time, a little bit of basic maintenance, and you can cure the problem. All bikes today are fitted with evap systems. Not like the old days where we used to send gaseous vapors up into the environment and didn't care. Now we do. So please, have yourself a great ride. Enjoy the ride. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.